The Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation will come to order. Most Americans, I'm sure, have never heard of pharmacy benefit managers, but they dictate the price people pay at the pharmacy and how people get their prescription, in some cases, what treatments they can even receive. The evidence suggests that PBMs are part of the high drug cost increase. Just three PMs control 80% of the PBM market. PBMs will claim that they pass savings to consumers or through lowering premiums. But their spread pricing and their clawback tactics prove otherwise. Research that we've done at the Schaefer Center shows that the net prices that manufacturers receive has actually declined, although the total amount that we're spending when you take in, when you account for what the PBMs and other intermediaries are taking home has not declined, right? So this is an example where it depends what price you're asking about, but it's absolutely so, problematic for patients, yes. The pressures and the incentives have made it so that if when manufacturers have opted to offer lower price drugs, PBMs won't put them on their formularies. PBM transparency and accountability is critical because patients uh, being able to get their oral cancer drugs in a timely, effective, and sustainable way allows them to realize the benefits of modern cancer therapy. PBMs steering the filling of these pills to their specialty and mail order vertically integrated pharmacies all too often results in unnecessary delays, denials, and waste for cancer patients getting potentially life-saving treatments. We need PBM reform, and this bill is a very good start towards providing transparency and protecting consumers and the pharmacies that care for them from these harmful PBM practices that add costs and unnecessary barriers to care.